everybody welcome to my channel if you're new here I'm Paige I do anti multi-level marketing content on here I also do alpha male content where I alpha men what's wrong with them <laughs> welcome back if you've been here before please remember to subscribe leave a like leave a comment I value every second that you are here and today we're gonna talk about Gretchen Rossi and just the mere fact that she posts about Monate doing things for her hair is a fail. <laughs> we all knew her hair was amazing on Real Housewives of OC. The woman was born blessed with good hair. Here is Gretchen's post. She looks gorgeous. Her hair didn't get like that from Monet. I'm just saying. <laughs> she had a huge following before and now she's saying that these products are good and she's whatever. No shame, like sell whatever you wanna sell. But let's not pretend like your hair was not gorgeous before. She's probably doing really well in Monate. Here's the next post. When you're feeling your hair game after you use the right product and revive it after not washing it for three days. And I'm thinking, girl, let's throw it back. And you can't even say your hair looked better. You just had different hairstyles because different stuff was in style. I believe this was her first Real Housewives reunion. Although the style's a little, I don't know, 2010, 2000, I don't know what, <laughs> I can't remember what year, but although it's a little old school, it's still really pretty and it looks really full and really healthy, strong and beautiful. Her hair's always been beautiful. And another one. It's back in her Real Housewives days before Monate. I'm pretty sure before Monate was even a thing. And what is it looking like? Oh, full, luscious, and beautiful. <laughs> more evidence. Do we need more evidence? I think we do, guys, because I spent the time to find it. Again, another Real Housewives reunion before Monate was even a thing. Her hair looking full, looking beautiful looking like she's never put any kind of chemical on it in her life. That's why I think it's a fail because I find it to be really, really misleading for her to say that Monate is the reason she has such gorgeous hair. She's always had gorgeous hair, always. Now let's move on to an Instagram post that used an anti-MLM hashtag. And I believe it's from a Beachbody coach and she said don't be a jerk stay with me here as i step on my soapbox but hear me out it takes literally zero dollars to choose kindness to be better to rise others up rather than tearing them down hmm. and here's where i'm going to make some of you mad ellipses but to all the ladies stop tearing other women down seriously just know, it's not cute, it's not funny, it's not helpful. Every single day I see women take pride in making comments about women that choose to pursue an MLM opportunity. There is literally a sea of women who find joy in making fun of others simply because they win a different route in life. And honestly, I'm sick of it. And if you've never read a business compensation plan or business model, you cannot make comments like this coming from a place of knowledge. If you've never spoken to someone who has seen success from these opportunities, not the people who quit after a week because they're lazy, or a customer who has benefited from the products, you cannot make these comments out of a place of understanding. If you've never heard from a mama that can now afford groceries, pay for that private school for their kids, not have to go back to work when their heart is at home, or take their kids on a real vacation because they chose not to care what you say, then you're not speaking from a place of compassion. Bottom line, you're not helping, you're not saving people from a scam, you're simply being a bully. The kind we all pray our kids won't be like. You're trying to make your light shine brighter by blowing out someone else's candle. It, it went on. She was calling anti-MLM bullies, essentially. I don't care if she's like, hey, I have a 30-day challenge going. Blah, blah, blah. Join my group. Okay? Join your group if you want to join your group. But don't come on and say, you're going to make your money back tenfold if you join my team. It can fit in pockets of your time and then you'll be a millionaire. 
No, to be a millionaire, you don't just spend pockets of time. It is all of your time. And, you know, I was talking last night about it. Owning your own business, regardless of what it is, it's just putting out fires all the time. It is constant work, constant work. And if you don't do that stuff all the time, you're not going to make it. Obviously, everybody's heart is at home if they're a parent, but that's not how the world works all the time. And not everybody can be a part of an MLM and be successful. That's mathematical fact. Owning your own business is not glamorous. You would have to work on vacation possibly, or at least check your email if you don't have some like employees. Another multi-level marketer was using the anti-MLM hashtags. Here we go, guys. It's time. Stereotypes. Lightning strike. For starters, I have stayed away from this topic for over a year now. I rarely comment on it or share posts about it because, well, truthfully, I like to believe in the good in others, and I like to think that I'm only speaking to a handful of people when I speak on this topic. But it's time. When I used to see MLM consultants post on their stories of haters are my motivators, it just truly rubbed me the wrong way. I thought, well, sure, put out a lot of hate, so what do you expect to get? More hate. And this is the part where I eat my words. Yes, I do still personally disagree with posting things like that because it's just negative energy. I don't even like to stick around long enough to type through my... What? What? I don't even let stick around long enough to type through my fingers onto a phone screen. That doesn't make sense. I have to immediately throw it out of my head as soon as it comes in. Also known as head trash. What is head trash? And that is just a disease I can't afford to get. That being said, I get it. I 1000% get it now. People do judge. People do talk poop about you just for simply working a business and trying to better you and your family's life. So it all makes total sense now as to why so many MLM consultants have that mindset because we're constantly under attack for simply the job that we choose to work. It's absurd when you put it that way, right? But fancy enough, it's true. I can't speak for all MLM companies, but I can speak for mine. The reason I'm so confident and steadfast in my belief of this business and don't let the haters get to me is because of just that. I am confident because I am the one in this business who sees the ins and outs of this company and the true heart of the company and how they value putting others first and truly changing the world for the better for all humans. I've seen the joy and new life born into people once they see that they've found a nutrition lifestyle that works for them. I've seen people make enough income to drastically be able to donate to our rescue to help children get freed from sex trafficking. Take it from someone who knows this business is just as legit as yours. And because I know what this business truly is, I am a proud MLM lifer. I'm so glad that you have found something that fills your, your philanthropic soul. There are some people who take it to the degree of bullying. I do think that. I think there are some people that kind of taint the anti-MLM movement. But not everybody is a bully. Just sell the products. Sell your products to end customers. Be actual direct selling and nobody has a problem with it. Just stop recruiting people who you know probably are not going to be good at the business. Not everyone can do the business. Stop telling people they all can do the business. Not everybody is a good salesperson. And yes, you have to be a salesperson. What are you doing? You are selling. If you are bad at selling, you will be bad at a multi-level marketing company. You will. I hate to break it to you, not everyone can do the business and no, it cannot be done in pockets of time. If that were true, more people would be successful. Going back to the first woman who said who quit after a week because they're lazy. No, there are so many other factors that lead people to quitting. Maybe if they quit after a week, especially, I would think they may have just had regret. Oh, God, I kind of knew what this was and I did it. And then, whoa, came to my senses. I'm out. 
I don't think that's lazy. I think that's just knowing what's right for you. They're telling everybody not to be a bully, yet they're calling people lazy. If they didn't block the people who quit after a week, that person seeing it being called lazy, is that not is that not what you are doing? This is a circle of hypocrisy that is never ending. And yeah, I'm going to play gatekeeper too because it's just, it's not good. Just live and let live. Just sell your products. Don't try to recruit, recruit me or my friends and family. And we can all live happily ever after until the next election. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> From your friendly neighborhood boss babes. <laughs> from Arbon or Bon Babes. Being broke is hard. Becoming wealthy is hard. Choose your hard. Boss Babes, choose your hard. <laughs> Being ethical is hard. Being a clown is hard. Choose your hard. This is counting people's money again. But you're choosing to be poor. You're choosing to be poor. Who in their right mind would choose to be poor. Who? Wh <laughs> oh, broke mindset. Broke mindset. No, some people have to stay in that survival mode so that they can survive. Get out of here. I hate this stuff. I, it, I think it's so shamey. If that motivates you, keep to yourself. Just from your friendly neighborhood bond babe again. If you're not where you want to be in life, why are you chilling so much? just let you know downtime is necessary you need rest and recuperation and then you do a lot better in your life as a whole whose business is it how much netflix you're watching and how much hulu you're watching or disney plus or whatever it's nobody's business if you are sitting playing games on your phone and watching tv good if that's what makes you happy in this moment do it you can still have big goals and achieve great things while chilling all the time. And I just think this is gross. I think it's gross and it's kind of shamey. And I that's what I don't understand is they don't want us to be bullies, but then it's this passive aggressive shaming that happens all day, every day. It's befuddling. And last one from your friendly neighborhood bond babe. We've seen this meme before. It's annoying every single time you see it. This individual said, New daily motivation. I never heard a crackhead say, I ain't got no money, so I ain't smoking today. They always find a way. So you're gonna let a crackhead out hustle you today? First of all, a crackhead has an addiction and their life is ruled by the addiction that's just kind of it's just kind of disgusting because obviously someone who is so in need of getting their drug of choice that they will hustle and do anything literally anything to go buy it when they have no money that's someone who needs help like legitimate help and you're gonna compare that to not having a desperate need for something because of an illness get out of town for your daily motivation Ugh. toxic people from a monate obviously you monate i like my products like i like my people non-toxic cream no thank you i take it black like my men Everything is toxic. I, I've absolutely loved seeing all the debunking posts on Instagram like bananas have such and such, which they do have potassium. Bananas have potassium. And did you know that if you have too much potassium, you can die? <laughs> did you know that if you have too much water, you can die? Uh, did you know that there are foods that have naturally occurring arsenic in them? And obviously arsenic is poisonous and you can die? <laughs> Everything can be toxic. I can be toxic, like I'm being right now. <laughs> and postpartum hair loss. The postpartum hair loss is real and the solution is real. Yeah, just let it grow back naturally. I had so much postpartum hair loss. Also, there was a part of that that was related to 
postpartum depression, but that's a long, tough story that I am not going to get into. <laughs> oh my God, who's my handsome man? Come in! You look handsome! What you got? What you got? How is your hair cut? Can you say hi? Hi, I'm Wade. I just love mom. Do you like my llama sweater? Uh-huh. You like my sparkles? Uh-huh. Okay. So postpartum hair loss, yeah, it's real. And the solution is real. Just let it roll back. Your hormones will hopefully, eventually kind of start going back to normal. That's all I have for you today. I value every single second that you are here and I will see you next week.